What's going on guys? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a contact form in WordPress for free. So no matter what website you have, it is always a great idea to have a contact form on your website so that visitors and customers, clients, or even potential partners can get in touch with you. So in just four simple steps, I'm going to show you how to create a contact form like this where anyone can fill out a name, email, and message, and then whenever they click submit, you'll get a notification in your email inbox. So without further ado, my name is Dale McManus and welcome to Creator Pro Website. Whenever you're ready, let's get started. Step number one is to install the contact form plugin. So we're going to be using a plugin called Contact Form by WP Forms. It's very simple and easy to set up. So from your WordPress dashboard, just go over to plugins and then go to add new. And then from here, we're simply going to go up to the search plugin search bar and we're going to type in WP Forms. And then you'll see it right here. So now all we have to do is click on install now and then click activate. Okay, so step number two is to create a new form. So to create a new form, just scroll down and you'll see this button that says create your first form. Go ahead and click that. And here is where we're going to set up our form. So first, just give it a name. So I'm just going to say Dale's contact form. And now we're just going to select the blank form template. So just click on create a blank form. And from here, all you have to do is click on one of these boxes to add it to your contact form. So I'm going to start with the name. And I also want their email. And then simply a paragraph text for their message. And if you'd like to change this from paragraph text to say something like message, just click on it and it'll bring you to the field options. And then from here, you can just change the name. So we'll just change it to message. And now next, we're gonna go over to the settings box. And under general, you can change the submit button text if you want, or we can just go to notifications. And here's where we can change the email address. So right now it says admin email, which is the email that I use to sign up for WordPress. So if you'd like it to be a different email, you can just input that here. Next, just go up to confirmation. And here you can change the confirmation message. Or if you'd want, you can click on here and you could direct them to a different page or another URL. But I'm just gonna leave it as message. Now next, just click on save and then click on the X. And now you can see we've got our contact form here. So step number three is to add this form to your page. So first we need to create a contact page. So let's just go up to pages and then go to add new. Now I'm just gonna name this contact and then to add the contact form, just go up to this little plus button and then if we scroll all the way down to widgets and open this up, you'll then see WP forms. Just click on that and then from here we can just select the form. And while I'm here, I'm also gonna add some heading text. So I'm going to click on the add block and do heading and I'll just say contact me and then move this up. Now just click on publish and then publish again and then now let's just view that page. Cool, so now we've got our contact form right here and obviously you'll be decorating your page a little bit more than this. So now as a bonus, I'm going to show you how to add this contact form using the Elementor page builder. It's by far my favorite free page builder. So let's go ahead and do that. So first, let's just go back to our dashboard and then just go down to pages and then go to all pages. So in this case, I want to add the contact form to my home page. So now I'm just going to click on edit with Elementor underneath the home page. Okay, so now just scroll down to the section where you want to add it. In this case, I'm gonna add it right here underneath my contact me banner. So first, just click on the little plus sign to add a section. And now just go up to search widget and type in WP forms. And then just grab this widget and drop it down into the drag widget here section. Now just go over and select your form. And you'll see it show up here. So if you'd like to make the form smaller, just simply go up and click on these six dots to edit the section and then just change the content width. And if you'd like to add some padding to the top and bottom so it doesn't look so tight, just go up to advanced, then 
unlink these values by clicking on link values together and just add 20 to the top and 20 to the bottom or whichever values work best for you. Also, don't forget to click on the mobile button and see what it looks like on mobile. And it can use a little bit of space on either side, but it's not too bad. And don't forget that 52% of global online traffic comes from a mobile device. So having a contact form that is responsive is incredibly important. Okay, so step number four is to send a test email. So to do this, I'm just gonna go back to my contact me page and then send a test email through our form. So first, I'm just gonna add my name, then I'm gonna put in my personal email, then just a quick message, and then click on submit. Cool, so now we just have to go check our email inbox. So I'm just gonna go to my Gmail. So if you're like me, the email didn't show up in your inbox. So why is this? How can we fix this? Well, what's happening is the email is ending up in your spam folder. So we need to make sure that we mark it as not spam. So to do this, let's just go over to this little list over here and scroll down to the bottom and then just click on more, scroll down again, and you'll see the spam folder. So just click on spam. And now you'll see the email here. So simply just go click on the email and you can either click on report not spam or you can click on not spam here at the top. So just click on that. And now it says that the conversation has been unmarked from spam and moved to the inbox. So let's just go back to our inbox. And now the email shows up in our inbox and any email that comes through that contact form will not be marked as spam anymore. So now just click on the message. And if you wanna to respond to this email, just simply click on their email and then you can write them a response here. Okay, so that was how to create a contact form in WordPress. So if you guys want more tips, tricks, tutorials, step-by-step -step guides, everything website related, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, please feel free to give it a like. And rumor has it, for every new subscriber that I get, a good boy finds a date to prom. Alright guys, once again, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.